Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome back to Virginia. Previously on Virginia, we began this kind of surreal journey, where it seems the mystery only deepens. Drinking alone in a bar. No wait, there's someone here. Man in blue. Hmm. Guitar player. What do you have to do with the case? I know there's some kind of corruption going on in the FBI, and you're connected to it. But part of me wonders if we even care about the current missing persons case, because we haven't seemed to be investigating it too well. And again, my true goal was to uh, investigate our partner here the entire time. I need to talk to her, apparently. Open up. I'll break in for this door. Look at that foreshadowing. <laughs> now, I really wonder what's up there in the locked room. Hmm. That lines up with the other room of the hospital bin. Yes. There you go. What am I going to see? Equipment. Lots of equipment. Plants. Nothing seems especially out of the ordinary. I mean... And there's a lot of chemicals, actually. Videotape. Huh. What are you making? Brain tests? FBI director. You were investigating him, weren't you? Trying to continue the case. It's gonna be some thing where the FBI is connected to some weird cult and this kid missing. And they sent me to like discredit her because she's getting too close. Uh, usually I just walk in here and you just open up for me now. I gotta wait, don't I? Don't you look at me, Smith Secretary? You wanna fight? Okay. Same taxi driver. I don't know where we're going now.
the observatory. The tower we keep seeing. I think this is it. No, this is... This is where we met her last time when we were drinking. Hey. Yeah, it's awkward. Let's just make up and get it over with, come on. Big hug. Big hug. Look, it's a symbolic gesture. A big hug. Get that envelope somehow. What? Are you Batman? Mr. Director, this better be a dream if not. Man, you're a lot shorter than I thought you were. And better not be the FBI director. I swear. I will kick you. You don't look so tall. Or tough. Oh, bugger hell. Let's see, it's all the characters we saw. It's pretty much all the people we see in the dreams. Like when they. Like the one where they're across the table from us at a bar. Hey. Listen, the skull could have been solved if you just gave me a big hug. Seriously. Stop being antisocial. Come on, we're stuck in jail. Frame, let me out. That was easy. Really, that's it? I just walk out? I guess it wasn't actually a true arresting, it was more of a being held for questioning when you're ready to talk kind of thing. I guess she's quitting. No, she got her job back. It's the exact opposite. So did I... Did I squeal and... Is that what happened? 
Aye. No, this might be a dream. This could be a dream. Poker team. It's gonna be like a buffalo there. No, oh, it's. Oh, okay. A housewarming gift is a cactus. I still feel like this might be a dream. Of what happens if we just squeal and let things go easy. Or it's the past, and it's when we first started working here. You, know, you want me to investigate this guy, too. Now I hate myself, because all I do is investigate internal affairs, and I like, get people fired. And then I moved up, became a senior special agent. And then make another friend. And then like, oh yeah, I ran out that guy. And I'm taking pills. And okay with things. Nice butt. And I ran out that guy. Then I ran out that guy. Oh hi, I'm gonna rat you out. I'm gonna rat you out. I'm a supervisor, ooh. I'm the ASAC. I'm a deputy assistant director. And I have no soul. See, the sip lipstick is symbolism or something. For how I've applied a face. And eventually, you become the boss. Hey. Yeah, I went through this once before too. It's really awkward. I'm not sure if it's a dream or not, or you're real or anything, but you know, you're gonna enjoy it here. Especially when I make you rat out everybody. So you dare rat out me, or I'll rat you out first. Rat this guy out. Shabam. When did I start smoking? I was solved in the end. We never really did really investigate into that much. If this isn't a dream sequence and this is real, this is actually a pretty interesting ending. But it isn't, it's just a dream sequence. Could have been the journey into corruption. Oh, time to escape! Flushy evidence. 
Well, eat it anyway. Uh, symbolic elevator. Alright, you know, it's not the weirdest way I've escaped out of jail. Would you like some coffee? shining cave especially so We're going to discover the bird in here again. The bird always comes up, doesn't it? Hmm, I wouldn't be surprised if even the whole arrest is part of a dream. A key thing about, I would say, Lynch, I'm not sure, I don't think this is actually a pretty... It has some David Lynch aspects, but I don't think this is actually a really accurate David Lynch directing style. Is that, despite things being a dream, they're not really a dream. I think David Lynch likes a lot of supernatural and spirituality aspects. He, he was very much about the theme of the world and life kind of communicating with you. Right now, I'm not sure what this is trying to communicate to me. The woman's face. The god goddess statue, no less. My eyes are playing tricks on me. This is the in this it, the sides of the caves are kind of are kind of blending into the one like mass to me for a second there. Red light. I feel like the red light has bad meaning. Like it's the truth or something. Go where the red line is. That's where the truth is. Red leaves. Buffalo. What does the buffalo mean? God, you're my partner, aren't you? I suppose if you want to take it more literal, it's more like the sacrificial 
lamb, and in this case, a buffalo. Nice boat. I was doing this from my first person perspective earlier. Sorry, mate. Really? It was just like a little piece. I guess it was supposed to be more about how fragile his ego was once you, like, chipped a little bit. Oh, picture booth wasn't just completely useless. The politician. So the first one we were the guy making the boat, and this one we were the politician. In the photo booth. Diner. Oh, you made my good favorite coffee. Black. It's a boomless midnight. Ah, uh, now I'm someone else. The perspective's gonna switch. Baby. Little doll. The general. Now I think I'm like the wife or something? I'm the director. Secretary. Oh, well, you're one of those people. Eats a single pea. Really? You were a little too close, huh? Took a photo. Priest. And the teenage girl. I haven't figured out if you're like just a girl or if you're like a daughter or something. The wife sees it. I'm um, the person sacrificing the buffalo. was her father she was taking care of. The 
key. When it's broken. Box. And it breaks. So that's what happened. And the files were burned. The red bird. That was in the furnace before. Kind of links up. Something you didn't want to see the light of day. I suppose you could argue that's light and illuminating the truth. I got rid of. They're getting abducted because they're both people that are essentially removed from everyone's lives. Broken key. Oh, you're finally picking up that check, huh? So I had a series of dreams, we may still be in a dream, but you know, you were in it, I'm just saying, we were in jail. After that it got really awkward. I might have ratted you out at some point. Someone on the road, someone on the road. It's the boy.
So that's it for Virginia. Pretty confusing ending. Uh, the devs even said they want you to be confused and everything. Um, I've actually compared this to Twin Peaks. I would say this is actually a lot more confusing than that because Twin Peaks did some like very heavy surreal scenes and stuff like that. It was very famous for it. But I feel like inherently like you kind of had an idea of what this was. I think this story, especially since there's no dialogue, is very much going for visuals, like heavy visuals. Which leads to some very surreal stuff. I mean, at the end, our main character, it's in a dream, but she does take LSD. So that, that drug imagery is obviously there. I think even the Chivos, supposedly, are named after various drugs and things involved with LSD in the creation. But yeah, primarily, we never really solved the case in this. The entire case is just a vehicle for our characters, specifically our two main ones. And I, I, I'm assuming most of the symbolism is essentially about guilt and not turning your partner into essentially a sacrifice and about duty and various things like that and freedoms and choices and everything. I think the boy might actually be alive in the end. That's why you kind of see him walking on the road. I mean, it could actually be literally him or it could be a symbolic him that shows that he simply just left the town right away from home. But I think he, there was no murder, he was just missing. And there's a lot of things that are never quite explained, like what what was the corruption issues in the FBI? Why was everyone feeling guilty? Everything like that. I, I guess you're not supposed to necessarily solve that, it doesn't involve your personal story. And I'm also personally a little confused on the relation of the woman in the locket. I'm not sure if that's a mother, or a sister, or someone connected to her somehow, it's obviously someone special. And it seems to be your partner's sole motivation for a lot of things. As far as getting justice and everything. But that, that plot thread's never quite finished off. Like I said, towards the end, when the boy and the woman are abducted by the UFO, I think that's kind of... These people kind of went missing from their lives. Whether physically or symbolically. But anyway, Virginia. Interesting game. I'm not really sure how you would grade this game. It's not as necessarily informative and how to describe detective-like as some other similar story-based games where usually you're perusing notes and trying to push together the story. This is a little more linear immersive, I would describe it. It's kind of like playing a, a TV series. And I would actually say this game is more of a TV episode than anything else. Um, it has some good directing as far as camera angles and some of the set as far as like positioning. I think it tries to be a little too confusing for the sake of being confusing. And to give my honest opinion, I don't think it's anywhere near the quality of like a David Lynch um, show or movie or some of the other directors who focus on injury and sub things like Stanley Kubrick or something. It's mainly interesting. Uh, that's all I can really say about this game. It's, it's an interesting experience. I, I don't necessarily really like it, but I also don't really dislike it either. It's, like, it's not something I regret playing at all. It's different. If they make another game like this and it's exactly the same with just like different setting, then I would actually dislike that because I think this is like a one-time thing you can do. But as kind of like an experiment unique game, it's interesting like I said. Anyway, thank you all for watching me play Virginia. And I'll see you guys later and take it easy.